everyone and welcome back to Journey to Med. If you are new here, my name is Hazal and I'm a medical student studying in London. As we all know, the test date for the BMAT is approaching, so in today's video, I'll be telling you how you can use Medify to prepare for it. Thank you so much to Medify for sponsoring this video and of course, before we get started, make sure you go down below and smash the like button. Let's get started. Just like the UCAT, the BMAT is another admissions test that some universities require students to sit. The BMAT is split into three sections and this includes a 60 minute test on thinking skills, a 30 minute test on scientific knowledge and applications and a 30 minute writing task. The Medify website helps you prepare for all of these different sections. If you don't know what Medify is, it is an amazing website that has all the resources you need to apply to medical school. From UCAT resources and interview resources to BMAT resources which I'll be discussing today. The BMAT resources on the Medify website are split into three sections and these include tutorials, practice questions and mock exams and past papers. Let's first start with the tutorials section. These tutorials are divided into three subgroups and cover the three different sections of the BMAT. For example, for section one they have tips on pacing as well as how to practice for the critical thinking and problem solving questions. For section two they have detailed notes on maths, biology, chemistry and physics topics, covering everything that you could be possibly questioned on in section 2 of the BMAT. These notes are very clear and easy to go through, ensuring that you have all the knowledge needed to answer the scientific questions in the BMAT. And for section 3, they have notes on how the essays are marked, timing and how to structure and write your essay. All this information will ensure that you are fully aware and prepared for all the different sections of the BMAT. Now let's go on to the practice section. Once you have learnt all the content, it's time to do practice questions and test your knowledge. The practice questions are divided into the different topics found in section 1 and 2 of the BMAT including problem solving, critical thinking, biology, chemistry, physics and maths. You have the ability to practice from all these topics or from a single topic. Once you press start practice, you will see that the questions are in a similar format to those that you will get in the test. Once you pick an answer, press mark and explain to see if your answer was correct and if not, what the correct answer was. What's really good about Medify is that they provide you with a detailed explanation to why your answer was right or wrong so that you can learn from these questions and apply this knowledge to a similar question in the future. These detailed explanations are provided with questions in all the different topics. The final section is mocks and past papers. I highly suggest waiting until you feel like you've done enough practice questions to start your mocks and past papers as you don't want to waste them. Also, mocks and past papers are great ways to consolidate your knowledge. Medify has over 15 past papers for both section 1 and 2, dating from 2003 to 2020. Doing past papers are really important as you'll be able to see what questions students were asked in the past and this can help you prepare for your own test. As if that wasn't enough, Medify also have 10 mocks for both section 1 and 2 so just in case you finish going through all your past papers you can also go through the mocks. Once you have completed the past paper or the mock all your questions will be marked and you'll get a score to see how you performed. As you can see, the Medify website really does have everything you need to prepare for the BMAT. If you are interested in checking out the Medify website, make sure to do so by using the link in our description box down below. I really do hope you found this video useful. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in a new video next time. Bye!